Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man. Started cutting this one earlier and, and was cutting it too soon apparently because it was wanting to crumble, especially on the edges. So I just now cut a piece and it seems to be okay. This one turned out much, much nicer. Um, ni nice clean, lead, uh, clean line there across the top, which is what I was hoping for. So let's go ahead and get this cut. I've got just a little bit of a gel ring. But the one that I cut last night that crumbled, that dried out, so it disappeared. So I think this is going to be a really, really nice one. Yeah, this is cutting a lot better. I was a little bit worried last night. But I was just cutting it too soon, getting too antsy, and sometimes I do that. But yeah, this is a really nice looking bar of soap. I'm very pleased with this one. really like the definition in the confetti. Cutting it in the larger chunks like that just really, really makes it stand out much nicer. I got a nice, smooth, clean line there. It didn't poke through. This turned out much nicer than the other one I did with the purple top. I do have some air bubbles in this one, but hey, you know, what am I going to do? Not perfect. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a gel ring there in the center, but the ones that I cut last night, that disappeared as it set up overnight. So I'm thinking this probably will too. Yeah, this is so nice looking. I like this so much better. Beautiful. This is definitely one to do again. What I may do is like take a couple of those bars that messed up and just take like a bar from each one that I do from here on, a different color, and keep it to do this just so I'll have various colors and shave them down. Because this is definitely one to repeat. I think the next one I try 
Um, I have not done the column swirl, and I've been wanting to. And although I don't have a square mold, I, let me show you, I found something here that I think will work. And this will be a small scale. I just found a plastic tray here that has a nice, uh, nice square lines on it. So I'm going to try that on a smaller scale. And my recipe usually works pretty well when I want it to, when I want to keep it thin. As long as I let it cool down and don't stick blend it too much, my recipe generally works pretty well, even when I want to keep a thin trace. But also, if that works, I want to do it on a larger scale. I haven't used it here yet. Um, I have Brambleberries pre-mixed oils. They call it a quick mix. And this is one... Um, see, I forgot what they call this. Well, let's see, what is this called? Uh, Swirl Recipe Quick Mix from Brambleberry. But it has oils in it that are designed to very, stay very slowly moving so they don't trace quickly. So if it works, I'll probably try on a larger scale using that oil because I bought that specifically for that. So that's kind of one of the things I'm planning on working on next. If you watched me yesterday, I told you that the church yesterday asked me if I would do... Uh, a large batch, about 160 bars, and I said I would, and I've got to do it this week because they want it by the end of July, so I've got to get it done this week, this last week of June, so they'll have ample time to cool, so I'll probably end up using some of the same recipes that I've done recently, same designs I've done recently, so I'm probably not going to record them unless I do something different. But other than a few air bubbles, especially in the top, uh, I'm really happy with this one. Very, very pleased with this one. And I didn't let it go through gel phase. I put it in the refrigerator because the one I did before, the top had some glycerin rivers in it. And this orange was so bright and so vivid that it really did not need to go through gel phase to look good. There we have it, folks. Thanks for oops, that's all right. I'm gonna restack these. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next time I do something new. Thank you. Bye.